I apologize in advance to all of you watching, this video is solely for me. So feel free to leave the video now because I'm basically going to be talking to myself for the next several minutes. Look at that! Your channel is finally getting some momentum! I think this is a good time to have a discussion before this channel grows into something bigger. These yourself? These are reminders of what got you to where you're at before you blew up on YouTube. You know what motivates you the most? As corny as this sounds, helping others, exercising your creativity, and making people laugh. You can't control the YouTube algorithm, but you can bait it with the value you provide by helping people get their shit together or using your humor to shotgun coffee out of someone's nostrils. Remember those comments you logged into your bullet journal that predicted this channel would blow up? Because without these people, you wouldn't be anywhere near where you are today or whatever day it is in the future. They help motivate you to create, and you said it so many times. I want to bring value to people while having fun. So if that's not happening right now, it's time to take a step back and reevaluate. Okay, so you've made your first hundred dollars on YouTube. Congratulations! You're legit! Woo, yeah. But remember when you first started this channel and you were in it for the money? You learned painfully slow that if you want to do YouTube for the long haul, you can't make it about the money. View counts, subscriber counts, brand deals, if you sell your soul to make money, you're gonna lose the interest of all those amazing, wonderful, supportive, kind-spirited human beings. They can tell when you're not authentic, you know. Don't ruin all the fun stuff about creating on YouTube by solely making decisions on where the money's at. That's not how you got here. But one thing that did help was that contract with Abby where you owed her $700 if you didn't make a video every two weeks. That was key for developing consistency, and that was definitely about the money. Regardless, there needs to be a balance. More money isn't bad if you're using it to support your values, but don't be a sellout. Remember when you first started this channel and you basically wanted to be Kelly Stamps and you found out how exhausting that was? L. O. L. If you feel like you have to be a certain way for people to like you more on the internet, that is some toxic shit, man, because it can be hard enough to like yourself sometimes, and you don't need all that extra pressure. But wait! You definitely got more comfortable on camera when you decided you just wanted to film in your hoodie and act like how you really do when nobody's watching. Plus, not everyone is gonna like you, and people are gonna bash you in the comments sometimes. It's part of putting yourself out on the internet. You can't please everyone. I know you find so much joy in reading validating comments from strangers around the world, but don't let other people's thoughts and opinions be a measure of your success or you're gonna get mindfucked. There's also gonna be times where people just don't like a video you made, but you think it's your greatest work of art. I know you gotta be loyal to your super fans, but at the end of the day, do what makes you happy. Every time you hit upload, you should feel real freaking good even if only your mom watches. Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. Go ahead and get your scalpels ready. Be assertive and take initiative. Do not compare yourself to others. Remember when you started this channel and it had a bunch of videos on physical therapy school, but then you made that one random bullet journal video you really wanted to make and it slowly started grabbing attention and you ran with it and had a great time? Imagine if you didn't experiment and try something new. Oh, and remember when you were like, let me just see if I can actually draw on an iPad, and then you made this? I have no idea what you're doing right now, but I hope you're still experimenting with new ideas. 
Don't get stale or trap yourself into creating stuff your younger self wouldn't want to watch. So for this, it's kind of like a trial and error process. There's no golden formula on how you're going to do this, but you need to be flexible when keeping this in mind. You need to figure out time management, prioritization, one of the biggest reasons why you love YouTube is because of the endless amounts of things to learn and that it's a platform that allows you to share life lessons from your perspective. You've always been addicted to learning, you freaking nerd. But seriously, you're looking for things to learn and apply from books, movies, TV shows, podcasts, video games, or just experiences to color life with. Set goals for yourself because this will help you feel like you're actually growing objectively and that you have a mission every day that you want to live. Keep investing in yourself, like when you took those YouTube courses by Matt Diavella and Casey Neistat. Keep going. Know that the video you made today is better than the video that you made last week, and the video next week is going to be better than the video you made today. And keep pushing yourself to come up with out-of-the-box video ideas and challenging yourself to do a new edit every single video, because that's part of what makes YouTube so fun. On top of that, you also love to share helpful information. I mean, you were literally a teacher, and then you became a physical therapist where you literally <laughs> teach people how to use their bodies to heal themselves. Simi has just been doing a great job getting me better. Come in day in, day out, get my reps in, and I just feel the progress. I feel like a better person. If you ever feel like you have nothing to share with people anymore, it's probably because you stopped soaking in new things. Keep a beginner's mindset and make time to explore and experience life or you'll no longer fill your cup to quench the thirst of yourself and the people. It's a part of the journey and I understand that I'm not going to get better overnight um, and that I'm always going to be challenged no matter what in life. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Simi Ariarty and Hello everyone, I'm Simi Iriarty, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, it's probably because you got accepted into physical therapy school. Congratulations! <clears throat> yeah, you? Mm -hmm. I need help? Yeah, you're out of hand sanitizer. I'm always first in line and don't you ever tell me no I ain't never gonna wait Their self-checkout? Hell no Can I just get some service? Excuse me? Some real service? Excuse I'm a one star your reviews You should Hello. all be real right nervous there. Let me see your manager I have a complaint Here we go These coupons just expired This is yesterday's date Excuse me? Let me see your manager Excuse me? I have a complaint Here we go What you Hello. mean I can't right return there. it? It's been 95 days oh, Don't damn. tell me you're out you can't look in the back Excuse I ain't leaving, best believe it You must be the new right staff really? This is unacceptable Excuse me? Unbelievable Excuse me? Lucky that I got all day I left the kids right home here. Let me get my manager since you have a complaint And I'll just mark this down for inconvenience Oh hey, hello I'm the manager What is your complaint? So you ain't got no damn receipt Or the card you used to pay You know what? Go to hell sir Go to hell, sir. My haircut is too good for this, and I ain't gotta take it. Matt, please leave my store. Leave the store. There's a door. There's Security, a door. come check this hair and don't let no one in it. Matt, please leave my store. Excuse me. There's a door. Excuse me. Security, come check this hair. Excuse me, sir. Right here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Don't let no one in it. Hello. Right here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir.